fighting the good fight of faith. Indeed, the Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. As Christians, we are not fighting a physical battle. Therefore, we cannot employ physical weapons. Even though we are not in physical combat, the reality remains that we are in an inevitable spiritual battle. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12 Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, to which you were also called, and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Apostle Paul, in his letter to Timothy, exhorts him to fight the good fight of the faith. In essence, this verse is telling us that we need to stand firm in our faith and remain faithful to God, even in the face of adversity and trials. As believers, we are all engaged in a spiritual battle. The enemy is constantly seeking to deceive, discourage, and defeat us. He wants us to doubt God's goodness and turn away from Him. But we must not give in to His schemes. Instead, we must fight back with the truth of God's Word and the power of the Holy Spirit. The Greek word for fight, as used by Apostle Paul, is agonizomai. It means to struggle or to compete for a prize. It also means to contend with an adversary or to endeavor to accomplish something. Paul reminded Timothy, his son in the Lord, to make sure that he fights the good fight of faith to lay hold on eternal life. Moreover, Paul reminded Timothy of the confession of his salvation, which he had made before many witnesses. Like Timothy, you have given your life to Christ and made a public confession of Him. Your confession of Christ as your Lord and personal Savior was not only known to the people who witnessed your salvation. God, the devil, and all his cohorts are witnesses to it. So you must defend the faith because the devil will attack it. He and his agents are not happy you are going to heaven. Therefore, they will try all within their power to put stumbling blocks before you. This is why you must fight. Fighting the good fight of faith is to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Fighting the good fight of faith is to lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and running with patience the race that is set before us. Fighting the good fight of faith is to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Fighting the good fight of faith is to be persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Fighting the good fight of faith is to know that some trust in chariots and some in horses, but you will remember the name of the Lord our God. Fighting the good fight of faith is to chase after peace with all men and holiness. It means you have to run away from sin and flee from every appearance of evil. Fighting the good fight of faith is the decision to follow after righteousness 
and to endure any persecution that may arise because of your faith in Christ. Fighting the good fight of faith reminds me of this song, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. No turning back. No turning back. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. How can we fight this good fight of faith? By staying grounded in the Word of God. The Bible is our guidebook for life, and we must know it well. We need to study it, meditate on it, and apply it to our lives. The more we know the Word of God, the better equipped we will be to fight the good fight of faith. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17 All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. As we fight the good fight of faith, we must fill our hearts with the Word of God. It is the sword of the Spirit and a powerful weapon against the wiles of Satan. When Jesus was being tempted by the devil in the desert, he used the Word of God to put him where he belongs. We too must familiarize ourselves with the Word of God by reading it daily and meditating upon it. The Scripture is a lamp unto our feet. It guides us as we fight the good fight of faith. It instructs us on what we need to do to overcome sin and temptations. The Word of God equips us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Additionally, it also builds and strengthens our faith in God. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. That our faith in God is built when we root ourselves in the Word of God. We fight the good fight of faith by praying constantly. Prayer is our way of communicating with God, and it is a powerful weapon in our spiritual warfare. We need to pray without ceasing as we seek God's guidance, wisdom, and strength to face the challenges that come our way. Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Prayer strengthens our inner man and weakens the flesh and all its desires. It is the flesh that can make us lose the battle to the enemy. But when our spirit man is strong, we become victors in Christ. Additionally, we can call on God in prayer and ask Him to uphold us with His righteous hand as we fight the good fight. We fight the good fight of faith by embracing fellowship with brethren. The Bible says that where two or three are gathered in God's name, 
He is with them. When we join hands in our fight of faith, God's presence will be in our midst and will fight for us as He fought for the Israelites. We need the support, encouragement, and accountability of other believers. It is good to be part of a community of faith where we can share our struggles, pray for one another, and grow together in our faith. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11 says, Therefore comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. We fight the good fight of faith by persevering in all situations. Fighting the good fight of faith is not easy, and we will face many challenges and obstacles along the way. But we must not give up. We need to persevere as we trust in God's strength and power to see us through.